What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Redemption 46 Studios. I'm Nick. Man, y'all seen the picture, y'all seen the thumbnail. Y'all know exactly why y'all here. Dawn Star featuring 10 centimeters or 10 cm. Um, the last joint I just heard from him, Heart, was a banger. It was a download. I was loving the vibe and the energy. Feels like I might have watched them in the wrong order, though, because it looks like Star came out first. Um, so I'm very interested to see this. Um, but if y'all watching this, man, make sure y'all are subscribed and definitely make sure y'all jump on the Patreon. There's going to be new stuff up on there by the time y'all are watching this. No long time, man. Let's jump into this and, and see exactly how all this started. Already a different vibe. Y'all know how I feel about falsettos on here. If we hit again, like. Starlight sparkling in your eyes. You talking that shit. waiting for that shit to like go in reverse or something. Felt that pain before. Redeemers, I'm not even being funny. If am I missing a series of videos? Because it looks like there's more videos on the side too. Um, this video too. He this here also looks like the version of himself here looks like the character that was on Heart that was watching him get hit by the cars and shit that was sitting on the side. If I'm not mistaken. Um, hold on, let me backtrack everything. Let me start off with the song. The song is fucking amazing. Um, Y'all know how I feel about like those like light falsettos and everything like that. Um, the ability that he has to be able to sing, rap, and even just like how he's singing and everything. I don't think I've heard him approach anything kind of like this. 
So this was very unique, at least so far from my discography from here and everything I'm doing. Um, but this, these are songs that put you in like that, like quote unquote, like artist bracket, where it's just like, oh, okay, like he's just, he's just different. Um, I like this a whole lot. I love the subject matter and just like the metaphors he was able to kind of talk to as far as equating what it felt like you know, as far as treating her like a star and him trying to be a sky and what that meant for him. Um, it, it just, it, and, and it felt good compared to Heart just because of the vast difference in production. Um, it felt like there's nothing better than when an artist is fire and their discography is so kind of all over the place. Um, and I mean that in a good way where it's like the range is just amazing. Like this feels like great range from uh from star to heart um and now dawn is a star in my heart um saying so, nah but um nah i thought the production on here was decent i never really got bored with the beat or anything like that um so that's fire um as far as the video goes it's amazing how damn is that him right there too in the background from the other video that got when he got hit by the car just kind of here laying down? It's funny. That's the most replayed part. That is the most replayed part. It probably is. Um, was the comments gonna say anything? Beautiful and heart. Yes, so beautiful and like just heartbreaking at the same time. We'll be fine in love again. Knowing that he felt like this wasn't worthy enough for her. Mm. Definitely beautiful voice. I want to hear more from the album, man. Yeah, Dear My Light, I wonder, is that, you know what I mean, another one kind of from the album. I want to hear more from the album, man. Shout out to Dawn, man. Like, you know, sometimes it's very hard to be vulnerable and to put yourself out there after crazy situations. Like, you know, life can be crazy sometimes. Sometimes we can feel like we found somebody who... We want to be with forever. And even in non-romantic situations, you might have family members or something like that that you just love dearly. And situations and things happen when you feel like, damn, you got to distance yourself from them or they can no longer be an integral like, part of your life. And, you know, you got to do what's best for you. And it hurts. Like, you know, it just it molds you and it makes you look at relationships and people differently and it makes you move different. Um, with that being said, when you're like a creative, sometimes it might be hard to kind of be dealing with that and then still have to do what you do. But for, I guess, him to be able to take that energy and just put it in a track, very beautiful thing. Um, he, like I said, you, you can feel the vulnerability in his voice. Um, you can feel that like it's sincere and he's like been through some shit. Uh, we joke about this a lot, uh, like, off-camera when we talk about, like, rappers and stuff. And sometimes rappers will be rapping, and you can just tell it's a facade. Like, it's just not their life. And I feel like here you can just tell he's just he's been through a lot. You can hear it all in his voice, and it sounds very genuine. And I feel like that since, that, since that's conveyed so well, it just makes the song just even hit a little bit more. Uh, and I told y'all just the cadences and the and the BPM where he was at with his voice, just just masterpiece. Like these are the type of ballads that like I really love. And I know sometimes people used to be like y'all hate ballads here, and I'm just like bro, we love ballads. It's just we love ballads when you can connect with them and they like hit you in your soul. And this does that, like you know, times full. Um, but yeah, I'm not gonna bore y'all to death with too much more talking. I, that was kind of like my overall feeling about everything uh, as far as the music video goes too, the production was great on here as well um, like I said for the most part uh, it's looking like they used the set piece for like this crash and for everything for a couple of the MVs that's perfectly fine 
um, especially if it's displaying exactly everything that you needed to display. On well, here, it looks like his world damn near got turned upside down. He was still kind of floating, you know what I mean, trying to find out who he is and get himself centered again. So it makes sense that he's fucking looping around the whole time and everything like that. And life feels like a whole car crash and a wreck and everything else. And when you look around him, everything's a wreck and shit is on fire. Um, you know, he just... Sometimes that's how relationships can feel. Um, and sometimes you don't want to feel like that, but you get to the point, like I think he said earlier on here, like, I just don't want to love you anymore. It's better if I don't love you anymore. And I, that's, I guess, that's super relatable. It feels like I'll ruin everything. I want to protect our beautiful small memories. And that hurts even more when you feel like you might be the cause of, when you're the cause of, of things that's going on and you feel like you got to distance yourself just to protect the love that y'all might still have or protect the memories that y'all had. So just, just a very beautiful song. Definitely has a lot of applications. I feel like this could be on like a K-drama or on like, you know, a couple other things and stuff. But give me y'all thoughts in the comments. Let me know how y'all felt about this. What would be the next video y'all would want to see me do uh, from the series of the Dawn stuff that he has going on? Because it seems like the album is very beautiful. Um, but I love you, Redeemers. I hope y'all are having a lovely day. Hope y'all aren't too heartbroken. And if y'all are, here goes a virtual hug. Y'all could have been anywhere in the world, but y'all decided to be here with me looking at this fire-ass content. And I appreciate that. I love y'all. I'm going to holla at y'all. Peace. And enjoy the dawn show. Sound like an angel.